Let's go over a few tips and tricks in Bookmap. I've opened Bookmap in replay mode to demo these features. We'll start with a few quick navigation shortcut techniques. On the toolbar, you can use the plus minus magnifying glasses to zoom. However, you can also hover your mouse anywhere in the chart range area and zoom by scrolling with your center mouse wheel. This is an excellent method for quickly zooming in and out of your chart. This technique also works when using the Move tool. Click on the Move tool hand icon. Left click, hold, and drag your mouse to scroll back in time. Now hover your mouse over a particular area of interest in the chart range area. Start scrolling with your center mouse wheel and you'll zoom into the area of interest. You can also zoom vertically. First, hover your mouse over the columns area. Note how your arrow cursor turns into a double-sided arrow. Now left click, hold, and drag your mouse up and down and you can zoom vertically. This is especially handy when large price swings reduce the columns text to a point where it no longer displays. To fix this, zoom in a little bit, then scroll vertically in the columns area. The text should reappear. You can also zoom horizontally. Hover your mouse over the horizontal timeline. Note how your arrow cursor turns into a double-sided arrow. Now left click, hold, and drag your mouse left and right and you can zoom horizontally. Let's go over a few tips and tricks with the data columns. You can move the columns to any position you desire. Hover your mouse over the column heading. Note that the column heading is highlighted in blue. Now left click, hold, and drag the column to reposition it in the area of your choice. You can drag the column within your column configuration or even move it to the left of the chart. You can even reposition the entire chart as well if you prefer. Let's set it back to its original state. If you'd like to adjust the width of all the columns, hover your mouse over the dividing line between the last column and the price ladder and your arrow cursor turns into a double-sided arrow. Left click, hold, and drag left and right to adjust the column width. If you'd like to adjust the width of an individual column, hover your mouse over the column's header dividing line. Then left click, hold, and drag. To duplicate a column with the exact same width and setting of another column, right click in the column of interest and select Insert Column. Note that to the right pops up a duplicated column with the same setting and width. Right click and choose a different data type of your choice. Let's move over to the vertical price timeline. This line divides the current market window with the best bid and offer from the historical chart range view. Hover your mouse over the line and your cursor becomes a double sided arrow. Left click, hold and drag and you can move the vertical timeline to create the amount of margin space you prefer. Now we'll go over a few keyboard shortcuts. Hit Control S and you'll take a screenshot of your chart. This is the same as clicking on the camera icon here. Let's say you have certain bookmap window open, like the configurations window. Just hit the escape key to quickly close that window. Since I'm in bookmap's replay mode, I can press the spacebar to pause the replayed recording and press it again to resume. When using the move tool in drag mode, Use the left and right arrows to advance the chart one pixel at a time. Hold shift and use the arrows to advance the chart at 10 pixels at a time. Here's a handy trick. Right click in an empty space in the toolbar area. A drop down menu appears. You have the options to bring up the main bookmap control window, reset the chart position, reset the chart settings, or inherit the chart settings from either another open chart window or search for a specific chart that you previously used. Once you select a chart, the settings from that chart will now display within your current chart. This is a quick way to allow you to view specific heat map and column settings. Most importantly, it allows you to quickly set up a new contract after expiration of the previous contract. One more extremely powerful feature if you subscribe to Bookmap Quant Features, you can zoom into the nanosecond level 
and see every single event that was recorded from the exchange. Go into drag mode and hover over an area of interest and begin scrolling with your center mouse wheel. You'll be amazed how you can drill down and see the order flow at the most granular level possible. This is an incredibly powerful feature and will allow you to see exactly what traded and when those trades took place. If you are interested in this feature, please reach out to us at info at veloxpro.com.